Welcome to Bridget Harley here in K-Limited. In this video, I will show you how to change the receiver wire for your Phonak Odeo instrument. Firstly, we will make sure we are using the correct receiver. So what we can see here, that this is a size two receiver for the right ear. You know it's for the right ear, as there is red paint indicating red for right. Here's our new receiver here, and we can see it's a size two receiver. It's a standard receiver for the right ear. And again, we can see through the box that the color is red. When changing receivers, always do one at a time so that we don't accidentally put a right receiver on a hearing instrument that's been programmed for your left ear. What you will need is one of these. It's a pin removal tool. If you don't have one of these, then a safety pin uh, should do. Over here, We have the pin. We insert the pin removal tool into this aperture. Click. And we will see the pin pop out the other side. This will unlock the receiver. And we'll open our new receiver. Each new receiver will come with three domes. Here we have the large dome, the medium dome, and the small dome. You'll also get a spare pin should you lose yours during the process. Make sure you select the same dome as the one that was on your old receiver. So in this instance, we have a large dome. Therefore, we will be putting the fresh large dome on. This is a little retention tail and is used to keep the receiver in the ear on some ears. It's not required for all ear shapes. So we'll just take this off for now. Over here you will see two pins. They are quite delicate so when you insert these into the instrument take your time and do not rush. Also it's really important sometimes this pin slips slightly back in, and when it occludes the openings, it'll be very difficult to insert the pins into the sockets. It's therefore really important to make sure that the pin is completely out the way. We then carefully line up the pins with the socket Gently float them around until they find the holes. Once they're in, click the pin back into place. Give a short tug to make sure it's locked. And carefully place the dome back onto the receiver. When placing the dome back on, always check that it's been correctly attached. There's a small rubber sleeve under the dome and this rubber sleeve has to completely cover the extension of the receiver and the dome will now be securely attached. If this has not been attached correctly, the dome may uh, not be secure and may certainly come off in the ear. So 
carefully put this on carefully and now we're ready to go thank you for watching